Welcome to Shogun. In this video, we are going to cover how you can create a custom layout product page with Shogun Page Builder. From the Page Builder dashboard, you can navigate to the Add a Page section by clicking Add Page. From here, select Product. All of your products are dynamically pulled in from your e-commerce backend. From here, select Import to Shogun. You will have the option of choosing a custom layout or an existing layout. You can view our help document on the differences. Here I'm going to explain how to create a custom layout product page. After a few seconds, the Page Builder Editor will load. Here you can see that the page has preloaded your product details. This can be customized along with the rest of the page. The page can be customized with our drag and drop elements. There is also the option of using our structural blocks. These are like miniature templates and you can find these by scrolling through the elements to the bottom of the column. Once you have selected the structural block that you would like to use, you can drag and drop it onto the page. These structural blocks are pre-populated with content and are made up of drag and drop elements, meaning that they can be customized. Here I am going to add an image associated with the product. You can do this by clicking on the element and this will open up the image selector. You can choose to upload images from your device, media library, or one of our integrated platforms. Here I'm going to select an image from the media library and as you can see, this has now populated the template. Next, I am going to edit the text element. You can change what the text says. You also have the option to change font. If you have a custom font, this can be imported from your e-commerce backend into Shogun. Next, we have our heading element. When you click on the element, this will open up the controls and styles tab. You will have the choice to choose your heading type from H1 through to H6, change font, weight, size, and also the color of the heading. From here, I can also change what the text within the heading says and customize many other features. Moving on to the next part of the page, we have more text. Here, I'm going to populate this with pre-written text associated with the product. Again, you will have use of our rich text editor. Finally, for the last part of this section, we are going to move on to the button element. When clicking on the element, this will allow you to change the button color, the text, the font, and also the performance of the button. So the URL and how it performs when it is clicked. Here we are going to edit the text within the button. Moving on to our product details. As we have chosen the custom layout, we have full controls that allow us to edit the product details. We can change fonts, colors, sizing, and performance within each element. For example, we can change the color of the add to cart by selecting the element and scrolling through the controls to find the button color. Here we can choose a color from our color selector or alternatively, we can choose to add one of our own hex codes. Here I'm going to select one of the saved colors. The last part of the page is going to be made up from customer reviews. I have already created a section under customer reviews and saved it as a snippet. Here you can find your snippets within the save tab and scroll through to find the correct one Alternatively, you can use the search icon to search. Now that I have found the correct snippet, I'm going to drag and drop this onto the page. Now that we have created a full product page, the next step is to review it before we push it live to the website. You can do this by clicking save on the page and then navigating to the I icon. Next, select Preview Page. After a few seconds, the page preview will load, allowing you to see how the page will look live on your website before publishing. 
Once you're happy with the page design, you can publish your page by navigating to the editor and clicking on publish page. Your product page is now live on your website.